Well, what is up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel where today i'm going to be showing you guys how to download windows server 2019 iso image so before we get started open up your browser and then on the search bar just type in download windows server 2019 after the search is complete click on windows server 2019 microsoft evaluation center When you click the 64-bit edition, your download should automatically start. If not, you will see a form and all you have to do is just fill in your details and then at the bottom, you will be able to see a download now button. For this demonstration, I've already downloaded the ISO image for Windows Server 2019 and I will be cancelling this other download here. We are also going to be downloading a software called Rufus to help us create a bootable memory stick for our computer or our server at home or at work. Click on the new tab and then search for Rufus. Click enter and then click on the Rufus, the official website. Once you are here, just scroll down and locate the download section. In this download section, we are going to be downloading the Rufus 4.4 EXE. Once complete, just click on the open file. Under device, you should be able to see your memory stick. So in this case, please make sure that you do not need anything in your memory stick as this process for creating the Windows Server 2019 bootable partition will clear out all your data from your memory stick. So please just double check if you need something from your memory stick and then save it somewhere on your computer and then you can continue with the process. Preferably, make sure your memory stick is 8 gigs or above. Below the device, you will see a boot selection. We are going to leave it as is as we will be using an ISO image. So next to that, click select. This is the part where we're going to select our downloaded Windows Server 2019 image. Click on it and then click open. After selecting the image, I am going to leave the rest of the options as default. If you want to change the name of your memory stick, you can do so here. But in this demonstration, I won't be changing the name of the memory stick. So I'm going to click on start. You will see a window that says customize Windows installation. I am not going to select the first checkbox as I do not want the local name to be the same as my name. Then I'm going to select the other three checkpoints, which are set regional options to the same as this system. And then the other one is disable data collection to skip privacy questions. And then also the last one will be disable BitLock automatic device encryption. So after you select these options, click on OK. You will see a couple of warnings that are warning you that the image that you're trying to use is either outdated or it's coming from a non-trusted website or it is coming from a trusted website just that it is outdated. So all you have to do is to make sure that you have the latest version but for this demonstration, I will be using specifically Windows Server 2019 for our tutorial. So click on OK. And then you will get a warning that reminds you that all the data on this device will be wiped out. Click OK. And the process for creating a bootable memory stick partition for Windows Server 2019 will start. I will come back as soon as the process is complete. After the Rufus software is complete, you will see a message that says ready, click close and then your memory stick will be ready to be used as a boot memory stick to boot up your Windows Server 2019. So guys, I will see you on the next video and remember, each one teach one. 